Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to The Real Zach Olinger. I'm obviously Zach Olinger. I'm going to do a take two on this welcome intro podcast to uh, introduce myself. That first episode was a little bit um, off the cuff, and as is this one, but I want to make this one a little bit more personal, give you some background about me. I'm transitioning, not transitioning, I've transitioned out of the world of information technology, and I'm stepping into working with men, specifically. I'm definitely targeting people that are in relationships because I feel so passionate about this. I went through a divorce in 2014. It took me quite a while to let go of my ex-wife, even though it was my choice to leave. I have two young sons who are just starting to be of age where relationships are going to start to be like a thing for them. They're currently 12 and 14, soon to be 13 and 15. And I'll be damned if they're going to repeat some of the things that I've repeated. And I'll be damned if they're going to suffer the way that I suffered. And I'll be damned if their partners are going to suffer the way that some of my partners suffered due to my lack of awareness. So this podcast is about talking about relationships from both men and women and from all types. You know, it doesn't matter the orientation of the relationship. It doesn't even matter if it's an, if it's an intimate relationship. The principles that I discuss can be applied to all relationships. And while I may use the terms men and women or masculine and feminine, uh, it doesn't matter which person within any of those relationships takes on that role because you'll come to find out as you listen that we all have masculine and feminine energy within us and we each will take on those different energies at different times. So this is really for everybody uh, across all cultures, all genders, all roles, all orientations. And the reason I feel so passionately about this is just because after I started to learn about these principles, I started to recognize and just see how much better my life became. Not just with intimate, like in my intimate relationships with, with women, but within my relationship to my family. And some of this is very, very recent for me. Uh, so it's just the quality of life. I've always wanted to impact people's quality of life. And in my mind, if I can help anyone reduce the amount of unnecessary suffering or conflict within their relationships, regardless of which relationship that is, that's been a dream of mine for a super long time. And the reason I'm looking to work with men specifically is because I find that it's men who seem to think that they have the least of amount of change that they need to do. And so what I look to do, what I do do, is I inspire men to become the men that they need to be in their relationships so they can experience more freedom, less conflict, and more pleasurable experiences. And for their partners to want to give them those things. That may sound a little bit too good to be true. I would, th I would have thought so too, honestly. However, I've experienced it. And I could just tell you it's true because I've put what I talk about into practice. And not only that, I have already interviewed three guests for this podcast already. And I can tell you that they've put the same, some of the same practices or principles into practice. And they've experienced, you know, massive transition themselves. And they didn't necessarily learn these things from me. But I am more than happy to work with anybody that is interested because I have, can draw from my own experiences but they're principles that we can all relate to. Just take, for example, if you're a man listening to this podcast, or even if you're a woman, you'd be the one playing the role in these ex examples. So guys, say your woman's in the kitchen and she's kind of, you know, she's, you can tell she's flustered. She's kind of knocking some dishes around. She's just kind of agitated, right? You've got a normal way that you might kind of respond to that type of behavior and kind of see her in a certain way and want to interact with her a certain way, which might compound the situation. You might find yourself in a conflict that is ultimately totally unnecessary. How about another example? How about 
everything's going good for you. You know, you're just chilling out. You're having a good time. Good day's going well, right? It's a Sunday. Maybe you're watching some football. You do something. You say something. You don't do something or you don't say something. And now your wife or your girlfriend or the feminine partner in the relationship is now upset. And you don't know where the hell it came from. Nor do you necessarily know how to respond to this because it hasn't been modeled to you in a way that is actually constructive. All of, a, all of a sudden, you find yourself, again, in a conflict that is highly unnecessary. And it may last a few minutes. It may last a couple hours, maybe some days, maybe some weeks. Or it could turn into something that lasts months at a very subtle level that ultimately builds up resentment between the two of you. How would you like to know to like reduce the number of the amount of those types of conflicts? See your wife or girlfriend or the feminine in a completely different way so that you can experience that freedom that I was talking about. You can have less conflict. And by seeing your partner in a different way, you're going to have a lot more fun. And you can take that as you will, but you're going to have a lot more fun in a lot of ways. The thing is, is that as men, when we show up in a way that has an awareness of what the feminine truly is, the feminine is going to respond to that. And all those things that I just mentioned, freedom, less conflict, more pleasure, they're going to want to give that to you. It's not just something that like you get just because you show it. It's just not, you gotta, you gotta play the game right. And it's not a game in the sense of like it's manipulation. It's just that you've gotta play, you know, you gotta play with the energy and show up and work with it. And those things will be given to you. They'll want to show up for you that way. It's not a game of manipulation. It's truly a game of awareness. And I say a game because ultimately it's internal. As a man, you've gotta choose to be willing to receive a new way of looking at things. So if you're willing to look at new ways, or if you're willing to be open to learning and seeing things in a new way, I invite you to listen to this podcast. If you're a woman listening to this and you've got a man in your life or a masculine partner in your life that you think would benefit, I invite you to have them listen to this podcast. Because the things that we talk about through relationships of all types, now remember, it doesn't just have to be intimate ones. These same things, these principles, these unnecessary misunderstandings are going to be very common and they're going to be themes coming up. Now, like I said, I've only interviewed three people, but I can already see it starting to happen. These are patterns that exist and it's completely unnecessary. It's very easy to resolve and I'm happy to share other people's experiences and my own throughout this journey. I really appreciate you listening and if you have any questions or if you want to contact me, feel free to email me at hey at therealzachollinger.com. And that's H-E-Y at therealzachollinger.com. It's Zach with a K. All right. I appreciate you guys listening. And I hope to provide you a fantastic series that I have no idea when it will end. And I don't really intend for it to. Just a fantastic series of good information. And I appreciate your listening and your support. And if, you've, if any episode you find is helpful... Please share it. Please like it. Please comment on it. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.